Welcome to Card of the Day with Lady Speech. If you're here, you're right on time. If you're seeing this, this message is for you. What's up everybody? It's your favorite hood healer. It's your favorite hood high priestess. It's your favorite motivational dominatrix. It's your favorite auntie, captain, goddess, king, lady speech in the place to be. And I want to welcome you back to my channel. You could be anywhere in the world. Absolutely, positively anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you are somewhere in the world. And you're also sharing a little bit of time and space with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling any of this, if you are feeling any of me, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, baby. And make sure you hit that notifications bell, notifications bell, notifications bell to keep up with all my shenanigans and happenings and goings ons and things. Now. Let's get into this card of the day, shall we? All right, all right, all right, my loves. Welcome to Card of the Day, where I offer you a little bit of spiritual guidance via one card. Today, we are working with a Luna Somnia deck. The Luna Somnia deck. This is a wonderful deck. It's a beautiful deck. If you're looking to learn more about this deck, you can definitely check out my magic playlist. Actually, I believe this is under my uh, reviews and hauls playlist. I have definitely reviewed this tarot. I absolutely love it. Uh, you can purchase this on Amazon as well as from other magical places. So today we are gonna be working with the Luna Somnia deck. Once again, I will make sure this information is in the description box of this video. All right, all right. Now that you know what deck we're working with, let's get into what the card says. All right, good people. Today we are working with the Page of Wands. Let's take a real good look at this picture. When we look at this picture, we see a figure who looks as though they are observing a staff or they are figuring it out. They are exploring this staff. There's gonna be two messages, two major messages and two different messages coming from this card, but they both intertwine, they both go together. First and foremost, the first message is for those of us who are feeling ourselves, okay? There are a lot of us out here who we are on it, all right? We have caught a second, third, fourth, fifth wind. Do you hear me? We are motivated. We have found our passion. We have our direction. We are clear as all get out and we are chucking forward. We are moving forward on that. If you are in this energy, baby, spirit has come to tell you to keep going. You are on the right path. Indulge that passion, honey. Feed that passion, honey. For a lot of us, this is our inner child. Our inner child has been reawakened. A lot of us have been doing some inner child work. We have been taking care of our inner babies, our inner toddlers, our inner three-year-olds, our inner preteens, our inner teenagers, our inner young people. And baby, these inner young people are feeling it, okay? In exchange for us healing and working with our inner child, in exchange for us working on ourselves, in exchange for us doing the things that we have to do, we feel this second wind, this third wind, this fourth wind, okay? We're feeling passionate about things. We want to move. We have clear direction. I can tell you that I definitely fall into that category, all right? Things are on the move. I'm in the middle of a really great transition. I have spent this last six months doing all the healing, all of the love work. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Let me tell y'all that it was a lot. However... It's always worth it. The work is hard, but it's always worth it. The work is hard, but it's always worth it, baby. Indulge. Indulge the state of wonder. Indulge the state of observation. Indulge the state of exploration. Indulge it. Caution, though. Use caution. 
use intelligence, use critical thinking. Do not rush into everything and anything. Make sure that you are dotting all your I's and you're crossing all your T's, okay? Just because the inner child is motivating us, is giving us good energy, doesn't mean the inner child knows everything. Sometimes it needs a little bit just a little bit of supervision, just a little bit of supervision. So do not go rushing into everything. I know we feeling ourselves. I know we feeling ourselves. We feeling fancy free and fabulous. We are feeling confident and this is how you should feel, okay? Start the new projects, darling. It's time to take the risk, okay? It's time to go in a new direction, babe. It is time to Start your transformation, your transition. It is time to enter into your final form. Do all of that. Do all of that with passion. Do all of that with, with greatness. Do all of that. However, critical thinking, common sense, and a healthy dose of caution, not fear. I am not saying in any way, shape, form, or capacity that you need to let fear rule you because over in these parts, we don't let fear rule us. However, we do understand that sometimes caution and a little bit of doubt can keep us from going in the wrong direction. So have caution, critical thinking, common sense, but you are in the right direction. So keep moving forward. Now let's get into the second half of the message. Now we just talked about how some of us are feeling on the upslope of things, how we are moving up the ladder, we are climbing up the mountain. There are some of us who are ascending right now, but there are some of us who are feeling the exact opposite. There's a lot of us who are feeling uh, a failure to launch feeling. There are some of us who feel stuck, who feel stagnant. There are some of us who projects we're trying to launch, we just can't get off of the ground. There are some, a lot of us who are feeling unmotivated, we're feeling stuck, we're feeling all the way not clear. It's blurry, it's a blurry situation it's a blurry situation it's a blurry situation you are being invited into some inner child work you are being invited to sit down and get quiet and first and foremost show yourself grace and mercy let me say that again show yourself grace and mercy let me say it one more time show yourself grace and what mercy and understand that this too shall pass Life is about ebbs and flows, babe. Life is about ebbs and flows. You don't ever stay here, okay? Life is gradations, life is grays, life is black and whites, life is all over. Life is ups and downs, life is ups and downs. And life is literally, life is literally, this too shall pass, and change is the only consistent thing. So if you are feeling lethargic, unmotivated, know that this too shall pass. You're being invited to get to the core of your issues though. You're being invited to sit with your inner child and ask them what help they need or what healing they need to do or what gift do they need to feel better or what do they need to, to maintain and to reclaim their buoyancy. If you are feeling lethargic, un unmotivated, unclear, you are being invited to get quiet and sit with yourself and go to the root of that. Go to the root of that. Go to the root of that. Are you avoiding looking at an issue you need to heal? Are you avoiding looking at a place in your life where you are problematic and you don't want to look at why you're being problematic? Are you just avoiding? Are you just avoiding every and anything? It's a time to, this is an invitation to sit down. Again, what are we going to show ourselves? Grace and mercy. Why are we going to show ourselves grace and mercy? Because we are human. And because we deserve it. Because we are human. And because we deserve it. Get to the root of your issue. Don't just look at the symptoms. A lot of us get caught up in our issues and we don't move forward on our healing because we only look at the symptom. We literally just look at the symptom. We don't go to the root or we just heal the symptom and we don't go to the root. This is an invitation to get deep down. This is an invitation to sit down and go to the root of this. Is this abandonment issues? Is your depression coming up? Are, do you have unchecked grief? I want you to be aware 
that we always have uh, seasonal depression to deal with, okay? The next couple of years, it's gonna be even worse, all right? We are not out of a panoramic, we're not out of a Panasonic, we're not out of a Panera Bread, we are not out of this pandemic. There have been people who have still are losing livelihoods, there's people whose industries have not yet fully recovered, there are people who have lost lives, people who loved ones, there's people who've lost a lot, a way of life that they used to function in. A lot of us are on the grief cycle. As a matter of fact, I would actually go out on a limb and say all of us are on the grief cycle right now. And a lot of this is being activated. Even if you didn't lose anybody, even if you, you, you maintain, you know, for the most part, your way of life, okay? If you are in any way connected to what's going on in the world, you are feeling the loss of others, all right? You are feeling this, okay? This is important. This is important. This is important to understand. These emotions are going to catch up to us. This mental health crisis that we've been, a lot of us have been silently suffering for the past year and a half, almost two years, is about to come to light. It's really, really important to understand that this winter is going to get real cold for a lot of us. This winter is going to get real, going to feel real lonely for a lot of people. This winter, the weight of the last year and a half, two years is going to settle in on our shoulders. It's going to settle in on our brains. It's going to settle in on our bodies. For a lot of us, this has already been happening. So don't deny that that's happening. Don't deny that that's happening. Don't deny that you feel things. Don't deny any of these shadow emotions that you may be feeling. Don't deny it. Get help. Get help. Get help. If you don't want to be here on this planet anymore and you are find yourself formulating plans to make that happen, please call a hotline. Please call a mental health professional. Please call your supportive chosen family. If you are struggling financially, reach out for help. If you are struggling emotionally, reach out for help. And for some of us, we don't ever ask for help. So the moment we start asking, it's going to be a foreign thing for some people. For some people, you're gonna have to keep screaming it into their faces till it clicks. Oh my goodness, you need help. Let me help you. For some people, you're gonna ask for help and you're gonna discover that I'm not in a space where people are gonna help me and I might need to leave this space. I might need to change my space in order to get to people who will help me, okay? Know that you are worthy of help. Know that you are worthy of assistance. If you are struggling in any way, shape, or form, please, please reach out. You always have your spiritual team to reach out to. You have your spirit animal allies, you have your spirit guides, you have your guardian angels, you have your ancestors, you have your gods, you have the deities that have been following your lineage for centuries. You always have your spiritual team. You always have your spiritual team. Reach out to your physical support system and reach out to strangers if you got to. But remember, you got this and your entire spiritual team got you. This too shall pass. All right, you guys. And to sum it all up, the message of the Page of Wands. If you are feeling this creative energy, if you are feeling your passions, if you have touched base into what you're supposed to be doing right now, if you're walking your path and purpose, keep going. Just make sure that you consider the consequences before you step into anything. Make sure that you are not rushing into anything. You are dotting all your I's, you're crossing all your T's, you're making what you need to make happen. If you are feeling lethargic, unmotivated, if projects are not getting done, if you keep stumbling over yourself, this, my loves, this is an invitation to sink in. This is an invitation to look at the root of the problems. This is an invitation to to figure out what is not working. This is an invitation to invite, invite your inner child to the table, your inner children to the table, to see what's up, to see what they need. This is an opportunity to invite your fears, your insecurities, and your self-doubts to the table in order to eradicate them and make them exit stage left from your life, okay? Okay? All right. If you made it to the end of this video, gold star for you. Thank you for your time and attention. It is valuable currency. And I appreciate the fact that you spent it with me. Like I said in the beginning of this, like I said in the beginning of this, if you are here, if you're here, you're supposed to be here and you're right on time. If you are seeing this, this message, darling, is for you you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time and support. Make sure, make sure, make sure. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you are feeling any and all of this, if you're feeling any of me, make sure you hit the what, what?
like button. Make sure you hit that hoo hoo subscribe button. Make sure you hit that where where notifications bell so you can keep up with everything that I'm putting down. Just in case no one has told you today, you are beautiful, you are divine, you are amazing, and you are very special. You are a gift. You are a gift. And lastly, speaking of gifts, I want to say shout out to the person who got me my <laughs> robe, hoodie, blanket situation. Y'all going to see a whole bunch of videos in this. I have clothes. I have cute clothes. Y'all know this. You know I could dress. You know I look good. Don't be surprised when you see a whole bunch of videos of me in this because I'm going to live in this this winter. This is this is drugs. This hoodie blanket situation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> for real, whoever got this for me, you're the real MVP. <laughs> so, for, you, you've been warned. I'm going to give me another one. I'm going to give me, like, two more. I'm going to live in it. This is going to be the wardrobe. Y'all going to be like, does she have clothes? Yes. Be quiet. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you go. You go on and have yourself a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good mid-morning, a good mid-afternoon, a good mid-evening, a good middle of the night. Whenever you encounter this, have a good one. Have a good moment. Have a good hour. Have a good second. Have a good day, have a good week, have a good month, have a good rest of the year, have a good life. And I'm gonna try my best to do the same. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.